subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. Now, tonight is undoubtedly Monday Night Raw, and we're going to soar to all new levels on the fallout from SummerSlam because it is indeed the first Raw after SummerSlam, and there is a lot of questions. There's going to be a lot of diatribe. There's going to be a lot of questioning. There's going to be a lot of answering. There's going to be a lot that needs to be uncovered and unpacked tonight on a Monday Night Raw. Are you excited? Are you looking forward to tonight's Raw broadcast on the USA Network? Now, remember... We only, got a, we only got several more Raws to go before Raw is null and void and canceled on USA and Raw makes their epic move to Netflix. Now, obviously we're going to be on a hell of a ride. We're going to have a new commentators team. We might even have a new world champion by the time Raw rolls around to Netflix. But ladies and gentlemen, in the news, we got some very sad, sad news and not just one big report. We got two massive reports in the world of professional wrestling that is very sad, that is very dire, and that is very overwhelming, if you ask me. It, it is sickening, it's shocking, and sadly, this might overshadow anything that happened at SummerSlam. It may very well overshadow anything, and I'm just being honest. I'm just putting it out there. And just, just hold on one second, guys. Hold on one second. All right, we are back, back on Sean's view. I said it was only going to be a couple of seconds or a second, but we're back. We're back to give you the news, the rumors, the headlines, the analysis, and everything in between. So, ladies and gentlemen, according to those in the know, a, 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 a champion, a top performer, a top star in the industry is sadly and untimely, and I, I, I'm shocked by this one. I'm shocked. Ladies and gentlemen, A man in the industry suffering from dementia, ladies and gentlemen, with a heavy heart and a pain in the pancreas. According to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, and remember to become a channel member today and donate with a super thanks donation to help secure my future on this website. According to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, WWF, WWF legend, WWE Hall of Famer, Bob Backlund is battling dementia these days. Details about the specific stage of dementia affecting the 74-year-old Backlund were not revealed. However, it was mentioned that after many years in Connecticut, he now resides with his sister in Florida, suggesting that he requires help. While this has been known for some time, it came out this past week at a live Bret Hart signing that Bob Backlund, 74, is suffering from dementia. Now, Backlund was champion from early 1978 through the end of 1983 when he lost to Iron Sheik to transition to Hulk Hogan. He is now living with his sister in Florida, Bob Backlund is a former two-time WWE champion, world heavyweight champion, and a former WWF tag team champion, along with Pedro Morales as well. He was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2013. Now, here's a guy in Bob Backlund that, what a great character, what a great work ethic, um, what, what, what a persona, um, what a wrestler, um, what a gimmick, and what a mic worker. I mean, how entertaining was Mr. Bob Backlund? Now, he's not dead. He suffered from, from dementia, and that can be a very de debilitating thing. Now, I remember going to WWE, uh, uh, you know, live events in the last, like, 10 years, and Bob Backlund would always be in the arenas. He would be in the crowds. He would get people riled up. He would be doing interviews. He would be, he'd do, he'd be doing sound bites. And it's very sad that Bob Backlund, former WWE champion, is suffering from this. It's, it's very tragic. And very sad. But what is even sadder than that is an actual death. An actual death in the world of professional wrestling right now, today. Ladies and gentlemen, according to those in the know, NWA veteran Vladimir Pedrov has passed away. An NWA veteran Vladimir Petrov has passed away. Uh, working with the Jim Crockett Promotions to join the WWF. Uh, and... Uh, his name is Al Blake, passed away last week at the age of 66 years old. Together with Ivan, Pedro feuded with Nikita Koloff at N on NWA TV in 1987. And guys, this is just a very, very sad state of affairs, obviously. Uh, and guys, what, what a comparison here, guys. What a comparison. We got breaking news on Roman Reigns. You do not want to miss this update on Roman Reigns. Listen to this one, guys. According to those that don't know, in 2017... Roman Reigns was without a doubt the most hated wrestler 
Fast forward to 2024, Roman Reigns is the most beloved, the most loved wrestler. What a transition that is. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news on WWE and AEW as a tandem. Listen to this one, guys. Breaking news. And this is why we do multiple videos a day. WWE, NXT, and AEW Dynamite will go head-to-head -head on Tuesday, October the 8th. So mark that day on your calendar and get ready for it. Ladies and gentlemen, SummerSlam 2024 was the end of an era according to the game Triple H. Who knows what the future brings, but I do think that even tonight, seeing that SummerSlam 7-match card go almost four hours, and yet there was a lot of stuff we could have put into this. Some people said, well, why wasn't it in there? Because it would have been eight hours, right? And you still have stuff for Raw. You still, you still need content for SmackDown. You still need all that stuff. And as we continue to grow, we'll take it step by step. So is this the last SummerSlam that you'll see that is one night? I think so. But we'll have to see where that goes long term. I'm excited about the opportunity. And as far as PL goes, PLE goes that way, you can never just say that is what we do and then that's it. And that's locked in. That's what we do. If you go back five years ago, who would have thought we would have been doing two-night WrestleManias, let alone two-night WrestleManias and two-night SummerSlams. So we'll see where it goes. And again, Triple H says it is the end of an era. Maurice was in full show-off mode at SummerSlam. You can check out the video of that and the photos online. Ladies and gentlemen, Liv Morgan gave Dominic Mysterio the tongue during their kiss at SummerSlam. Zilla Fat 2 was in attendance at SummerSlam, but as we all saw, didn't actually show up. Triple H, the game, has commented on Nia Jax winning the WWE Women's Championship. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Bayley has commented on losing the WWE Women's Championship at SummerSlam. WWE generated huge money within a couple of hours after Roman Reigns returned by selling 1,316 units of Roman Reigns' prize championship belt. That is huge. That is major, and that is ginormous. Drew McIntyre takes a shot at The Walking Dead, showing support for CM Punk. Logan Paul comments on losing the United States Championship at SummerSlam. Now, we heard a lot of rumors and speculation that, that CM Punk was going to be suspended due to his actions, due to striking an official, a referee at SummerSlam, being Seth Rollins. Well, according to those that know, Seth Rollins just says, no, I don't want him to be suspended. I don't want CM Punk to go away. I want CM Punk to stay right here on Raw. I don't want him to have a break. I don't want him to have a sabbatical. So we report it. And again, this is where I'll, I'll pull back. This is where I'll say I was wrong. This is where I'll say there was an update. This is where I'll say there was a change. And this is why, again, I do multiple videos a day. I give all of you my time, my effort, my emotion, my devotion. I give you my energy, my heart, and my hustle day in and day out. So I'll say, hey, there's a change. There's an update. I'll say I was wrong. Whatever you want to hear. Again, this is why I stay true to the viewers, the fans, and the subscribers of this very channel. But however, however you want to look at it, it looks like CM Punk will be a part of Raw tonight. But things could change. He may not be a part of Raw tonight. You're going to tune in to find out because, again, Seth Rollins doesn't want CM Punk to be suspended. But is it, what about, is it, is it really about what Seth Rollins wants or is it, about, is it about more than that at the end of the day? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on the matter. Also coming through on the brash in the brazen, we got Bob Backlund dealing with dementia. We got a, a profound uh, loss, a major pass away a major death in the world of professional wrestling. And now we move on to this. The return of the phenomenal one. Yes, SmackDown star AJ Styles returning to the blue brand this week. Remember to subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. Uh,